You spent your youth in the library fortress of Candlekeep, under the kind tutelage of your foster father, Gorion. Imoen shared this home, a kindred spirit. Her background was as mysterious as your own. Gorion's murder brought answers to your questions when his killer, Saravok, was revealed to be your brother. You and Saravok were a product of the Time of Troubles, a chaotic period when gods were made flesh and forced to walk the earth. One such deity foresaw his own death and walked the land before the Cataclysm. He left a score of mortal offspring intended to be the fuel for his rebirth. The god was Baal, Lord of Murder, and you are one of his children. Saravak sought a war of sacrifice to prove his worth, believing he could become the new Lord of Murder. You killed your brother, sending his taint back to Baal. You were the hero of Baldur's Gate, but some suspected you shared the same lineage as Saravok. You departed soon after, under circumstances much darker than anyone would have believed. They came as you rested, figures cloaked in mist that clouded your thoughts, blurring the lines between consciousness and dreaming. There was no malice or hatred, no mention of an old score, only quick capture and the promise of grim deeds to come. Sweet God of Goosebumps. Those are the three best minutes of any game ever. Like, forever. Hello and welcome for the first time ever in Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of Am. Now, if you watched the final episode of Baldur's Gate, I had, I had quite, a, quite a lemma. Should I play this game? Should I let's play because Baldur's Gate has the edition is coming soon? I said to hell with it. I will be making two let's plays at the time at the same time of Baldur's Gate if I have to. At any rate, we're here. Second Baldur's Gate. I freshly bought it from GOG, or Good Old Games, now GOG, for 10 euros or was it 10 dollars? I have no idea. And I imported my character and freshly installed works wonders. Here's my character, of course, as you might remember him. Now, I have no idea what should I pick here. Uh, let me think, let me think. Open locks, of course, the best way in the world. Find traps. Why not? So basically I decided to play this game because it's the best RPG ever. Well, pretty much for me it is, anyway. So, hope if you will be watching this, I hope you will enjoy me doing stuff that I've already previously done on this same, very same channel. That story of the Swashbuckler thing that I've been doing. Bad, bad thing. Bad, bad. Don't watch it. I will probably disintegrate the videos or anything. So, what would we do? Set traps. I like traps. So, yeah. I'm gonna set traps. Now, as you may notice, there is a plenty lot of weapons than there are in Baldur's Gate 1, of course. Every weapon gets its own category here. Now, I know exactly which weapons I want to use, and they are Scimitar, Two Weapon Style, and Short Sword. You might think, why? Are they the best weapons? No, they are not. By far, they are not the best weapons. Sure, really? Did I look like this in the first game? It's horrible. And we got getting interrupted uh, uh, even after five minutes of my life. Great. At any rate. Did I really have this horror? Their colors, they're horrible. Now, I have a limited selection of voices which 
for the night for the moment we will be putting it on default but I will be returning the Icewind Dale sounds to this game and it will be awesome because I love that voice that I had in Baldur's Gate Han. Really? Lauren was my name? Whatever. Okay. Accept. Let us begin. I will silence here for a moment. Shut up. Totally. Surely. Yep. Ah, the child of Thor. So it is time for more experiments. The pain will only be passing. You should survive the process. Interesting. You have much untapped power. Do you even realize your potential? Your intruders have entered the car. They act sooner than we had anticipated. He interrupted it. No matter, they will only prove a slight delay. Whatever. That guy over there, best villain ever. Not 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 talking in games. I'm not I'm talking about books, theatre. Movies and games. He's the best villain ever. Acted by Come on. what's his name? Uh, David Warner, I think it is. Yes, you might remember that name from Titanic or uh, a few other titles, which I currently don't remember. But there is a hilarious song. To ch check David Warner sings, and you you will see. <laughs> At any rate. Here we have Imuen, you might remember her from being the uh, harassing girl from Candlekeep. According to the story, I was supposed to take her with me throughout the game, but I decided to go solo. In this game, I won't be soloing because this game is bad at soloing. No, it's not that bad at soloing, it's easy to solo if you know what you're doing. But first, I don't think I have the right class to solo. I mean, every class is available. Able to solo, but that, never mind. I won't be soloing. I need a mage, at least one mage. And a tank, whatever. Wake up, you, wake up, come on, we have to get out of here. Who who are you? Who am I? You messed with your head too, huh? I'm Ewan. We lived in the same place for years. I guess I can't blame for you for getting Ugh. Sloppy reading is back. All the members is getting jumped near Boulder's Gate. It was quick. I don't think I want to remember at all. It all. He's been doing things to us. Lauren, we have to get out of here. Alright, I'm moving. I crawl over. Yeah, me too, but my head hurts most. Yours, the boo by blah, 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 blah. We'll go, but I must know who is behind this. Later, I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I could get loose again if we, if he came back. My head hurts so bad. It isn't like a normal pain, Lauren. It's on the inside, like my bones made a little dagger and it won't go away. Great. Great. Whatever. Right you are, let's go. Blah, blah, blah. Bye. Bye. Yes, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Freedom! Yes. If sure. Baldur's Gate 1 was very story-based... Hey, look. We look the same. Yeah, guys. What is consider it done? Well, considering... Spoiler, 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 and spoilers. And whenever that comes to spoilers, I will be saying that it's spoilers that we did. All the spoilers. We have the same color, hair color, and shirt color, that's all I'm gonna say. So yeah, I casually knew that there is a trap and there is uh, something here. And look! Magically, the golden pendulums are back to us. I told you they would export to Baldur's Gate 2, so here they are. We have a dagger plus one, which Imwen will readily use and she will give me healing potions. I will be taking her with me for, for story purposes. And I will be also keeping her later because she's, well, best used actively. At any rate, there is no scimitar in here, but there is a short sword that I will be taking. Okay, what do we have here? Helmet. We will be using studded leather armor here. And a small shield too. Only because I don't want my thieving abilities to be disabled. In this game, they will be very much more helpful. 130 health, I don't know if that's correct or not, but whatever. My stats are great as always. They won't be for the long while. Anyway, there are two prisoners here, if you have noticed. Maybe we should talk to them. It's not a walkthrough, by the way. This is 
totally not a walkthrough because I'm not ex not an expert of this game. We must get out of here before whoever did this returns. I swear, traveling with you is never dull. And this is Jahaira. Jahaira or Jahira or whatever you want to read it, I have no idea how it's read. At any rate, you might remember her as uh, if we ever get become separated, you, it is imperative that you make your way to the friendly army. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends and you can trust them. That's the dialogue that Gorion tells you before leaving Candlekeep. And basically, yeah. story-wise, you should be having had... We should be having had her back in Baldur's Gate 1. I did not because... I'm a clever, smart ass, that's why. I may help, but refresh my memory as to who you are. Refresh you, perhaps you I can talk to him. No, I didn't simply not talk to you in the entirety of the game because I didn't want to. And I still think that the, she is one of the most hateable for me personally characters in Baldur's Gate. Where is Khalid now? He's not with you. Ah, uh, sadly. Sadly, I liked Khalid a lot better in Baldur's Gate 1. Click on the cage, I think I found the key, blah blah blah, open the cage. I think, the, I think I found the right key. Well, blah blah blah, we will leave immediately and celebrate once we are out of this hole. Yeah. Jahira e Jahira or Jahira, I will say Jahira because I'm used to just taking Jahira. Is a fighter droid half elf with good good statistics overall so that's one bonus for her problem is she is a pain in the ass to listen to and uh, it is a pain in the ass to level her up so she doesn't really make a great priest and healer overall that is why sorry sorry jahira fans sorry sorry i don't like her this group is yours to reform as you see fit I like her, I will keep emo in and uh, let's talk to this other guy. Sure. Damn straight they will. I remember traveling with you, but no, you don't remember, but still. Uh, our travels, Dinahurst, she trapped as well, she died and whatever, he will have to redeem himself. Yes, Minsk, I will do what I can, don't get hang oh, yourself over excited. The bars were permanently uh, welded together, so that is not gonna be easy because we don't have a key for permanently welded cells. And uh, we say that we all will under him, and you, we can also say that he is insane. And with his insanity, he will lock the door wide open. And before he can kill us, he will understand that I made him rage on purpose so that he can open smack open the door so join with me no together we shall make our enemies answer for our fallen answer the will and my sword shall be the question we shall have fistful of sweet sweet justice and our enemies will be stained beneath our feet what yes but but all right who tells me that i am raving again i did not notice the difference but i shall heed his words nonetheless I just love this guy, he's my favorite companion in the entire game, really. Come now, come, we must go now. Yes, Muse can boo and you together again. Beware, villains, I will force justice down your evil, evil trolls. I see you still have that rodent. Dare I ask how you kept it hidden from our captors? Don't ask question better left to aged sages. Boo is quick and evasive and there is ever so much of Minsk to search. Ouch. There is so much of getting us apart. Minsk and Boo and are Minsk and Boo and we shall not be separated. Shall we go? The butts of evil await my bootprint. Right you are Minsk, wherever is evil dust... No oh, wait. Wherever evil dust lay its dirty feet we shall mop the floor with its bucks. I have lost myself in your wars but Boo thinks you're dust ducky. Onward! How can you not love this guy? I mean, he's talking to a bloody hamster. A miniature space... A, a miniature giant space hamster. Which is my idol, by the way. If you ever were on the Bioware... Newer forums, the Bioware social network, you might remember that I used a portrait with Boo. 
being dressed in all kinds of way. Well, yeah, that was me, basically. Now, my excuse is uses two-handed weapons. And the game is lagging, perfect. And, yeah, he uses two-handed weapons and heavy armor. He will be a great damage taker, basically. Not a tank, per se. I think the best tanks are clerics, in fact, in this game. But still, he will do good things. At any rate, he has 79 health, which is quite low for his quite high constitution. And then that, that, that doesn't really that matter that much. Overall... Oh, and here is Boo. You can see him. He is voiced by Jim Cummings, by the way. You might know him uh, for voicing a certain Winnie the Pooh, perhaps? Yeah. The voice actor of Winnie the Pooh is voicing Minsk in this game. He also voices Gorion in Baldur's Gate 1 and Baldur's Gate 2. He also voices a few other characters in Baldur's Gate 2. Quick save. Alright. At any rate, it's been 16 minutes and 34, 35, 36. So I'm gonna pause this right now. Thanks for watching and join me next time as I will be traveling through this dungeon. We did fairly nothing in the 16 minutes, but I had to explain the stuff. Until then, be well. Bye. This was the Loud and Gaming Show. Thanks for watching.